Today we will be reviewing chapter four. Chapter four, we're mostly dealing with multiplying and dividing fractions, whole numbers, and mixed numbers. So let's start these two on a separate sheet of paper. If you can't see them, we've got three fifths times four, and we've got two fifths times seven. So I want you to do this on your notes and tell me what you get as your answer when I call on you. So Raphael, how do we know that we do three times four? How do we know that? So he says we add one to the denominator. That's correct. When we add one to a denominator, does it change anything? No. No. So then how do we know which ones to multiply? What do we multiply? Who can tell me? Let's see, Fernando. Yeah, we multiply across. So what we get for here is three times four. Everyone, three times four is? Twelve. Everybody, five times one is? Five. Is this our answer? No. Okay. Let's see. What do I have to do, Alinza? So yes, Gohar, we have to simplify it. So first of all, how many fives fit in 12 without going over? Show me number of fingers. Number of fingers. Perfect. So two fives go into it. And how much is left over? How much is left over? Fingers? Once again, two. And we keep our denominator. So our answer is two and two fifths. For that second one, we do the same thing. Add one as our denominator and multiply across. Two times seven is 14 over five. In this case, we get two and four fifths. Exactly. We're gonna look at number three now. So, the Mississippi River is the second longest river in the US, with the Missouri River being the longest. The Mississippi River is 23 25ths the length of the Missouri River. If the Missouri River is 2,540 miles long, how long is the Mississippi River? How do I set this problem up? Who can tell me how I set this problem up. Remember, we're dealing a lot with multiplication, division, stuff like that. Is this a multiplication problem or a division problem? What do we think? Raise our hands for multiplication. Raise our hands for division. It's actually multiplication problem. So how do I set this problem up? Who can tell me how I set it up? Hannah nailed it. We take our 23 over 25, we multiply it by 2,540 over one. Now, to make our lives easier, is there anything that we can do here before we start, Trey? No, that is not what we can do. What can we do, Hannah? We can cross cancel. What do you think we want to cross cancel by? We can't cross cancel 23 and one, that's already simplified. What can we cancel by, Elsie? Five. five, that sounds great. 25 divided by five is five. So for this one, I like to split it up. 2,540. 40 divided by five is what? Who can tell me? Eight. 500 divided by five is what? 100. 2,000 divided by 5 is what? 400. We add it together, we get 508. Then, all we do, well that's, all we do is we multiply across. So, so when we multiply 23 by 508, we get 11,684. Is that our answer? And we know that's not our answer because we know the Mississippi River is shorter than the Missouri. So our answer should be shorter than 2,540. What is the last step we need to do? What do we need to do, Daniel? Put it over five and divide. I know Trey was gonna say the same thing, so let's do that. So when we do our long division, we get 2,336.8. Notice we had to add a decimal and we lined it up. We had to add that decimal, line it up. And exactly, we get this number 
Exactly. Does this number make sense that the Missouri River is bigger and it's 2,540 and the Mississippi is smaller and it's 2,336.8? Does that make sense? Yes, because we know it's smaller. So our answer is 2,336.8 or 2,336 and 4 fifths. Same exact answer. Really quickly, these are exactly like numbers one and two, but probably even easier. So I want you guys to solve these. So this first one, two thirds times five sevenths. Can we cross cancel anything? No. Yes. What can we cross cancel? Nothing. Five. Nothing, we can't. So two over five times three over seven. What do we get as our answer here, our initial answer, Trey? Perfect. Can I cancel anything out? Can I simplify? No. no. We already know that since we couldn't simplify earlier, we can't simplify later. Exactly. Now our next problem. We have three fifths times five sevenths. Am I able to cancel anything? What can I cancel out, Liam? The five and the five. Boom, boom. They're gone. I get three times one over one times seven. I get three sevenths. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy. Next one. Miss Diaz had seven eighths of her class present. And one half of those present were wearing pants. What fraction of the students total were wearing pants? The students total were wearing pants. Michelle, what do I do here? Seven eighths times one half, exactly. Because seven eighths of my students showed up and half of them were wearing pants. So we just multiply across. Can I cross cancel anything? No. Nope. So I get seven over 16. Can I simplify? No. That's it. That's no. our answer, seven sixteenths. So next one. I have three and three fifths times five twelfths. What do I do here first? What's my first step that I do here? Jaden, what do I do? Um, so we don't multiply the two big numbers together. What do we do, Madison? Um, you make, um, so basically you multiply, for the first one, you multiply three by five and then add the three. The and we add what we get to that. So that's called making it into a what, Nathan? A mixed fraction. Not a mixed fraction. What is it called, Malia? Improper fraction, three times five is 15, plus three is 18, we get 18 fifths. Let's do the same for the other one. Five times 12, who can tell me five times 12, Anita? We get 60 plus five, we get 65 over 12. Hey, can we cross cancel anything, Nathan? Yeah. What can we cross cancel? The five and the 65. Five and the 65. It becomes one and 13. Can we cross cancel anything else? Yes. What else can I cross cancel, Daniel? 18 and 12, I cancel it by six. It becomes two and three. Exactly. What's three times 13? Who can tell me? 39. Rafi? 39. 39. One times two is two. How many twos go into 39? How many twos go into 39 without going over? How many twos go into it without going over? Let's see, Daniel. 19 and we have one half left over exactly now that we've gone through this one together i want you to do this one okay. now is this the proper setup four times two and one half times five six no. No. so then i get eight and i get five twelfths is that the proper answer no i can't do that i have to make it into an improper fraction first i have to well what do i do first I turn it into a into an improper fraction. So what is four and one half as an improper fraction? Yes, Oswaldo, we get, oops, I'm erasing. Nine halves. What about two and six fifths as an improper fraction, Romario? Two and six fifths as an improper fraction. 17 sixths. Can I cross cancel anything? 
What can I cross cancel, Liam? Uh, the two and seventeen. So how do I cross cancel two and seventeen? Can I do that? Yeah. No, seventeen's odd. What can I cross cancel, Anita? Nine and six. Their greatest common factor is what, Trey? What's the greatest common factor? Three. So this becomes three and this becomes two. What's three times 17, Trey? Three times 51. over two times two is four. How many times does four go into 51 without going over, Michelle? 12. And what's left over? Three fourths. Excellent. Claude Monet's painting, Seaside at En Fleur, on display at LACMA, by the way, measures 59 and 7 tenths by 81 and 3 tenths centimeters. What is the area of the painting? Again, how do I find area? Who can tell me, Michelle? Length times width. Exactly. Our length is 59 and 7 tenths, and then our width is 81 and 3 tenths. If you ask which one's which, it doesn't matter. They're the same thing. Either one can be length or width. But what do we need to do to these numbers, Miles? Uh, you need to make them a improper Exactly. We need to make them an improper fraction. This one should be really easy to do, by the way. Yeah. Jasmine, what is 59 and 7 tenths as an improper fraction? 597 over 10. What is the next one, Oswaldo? Perfect, 813 tenths. Now, I know I can't cross cancel anything because neither are divisible by two, five, or 10. So I simply have to multiply across. All I know is at the bottom, I'm gonna get 100. At the top, let's do that together. When we multiply, this is what we get. We get 400, or we get 40, we get 485,361 over 100. Who remembers my trick to solve this problem easier than dividing by 100? Trey. Yes, Trey, we put the decimal at the end and we want to get it over 1 because anything over 1 is our answer. We move it over twice. What we do to the bottom, we do to the top. We move it over twice and we get as our answer. 4, 8, 5, 3.61. I also just want to show you guys, this is the painting. Look at how beautiful this painting is. It's a real painting. Liana ran 17,160 feet in a day. How many miles did she run? So, now, she ran 17,160. We're going to want to divide it by something because we're splitting it up from feet into miles. How many feet are in one mile? How many feet are in one mile? Let's see, Oswaldo. Yes, 5,280. Exactly. We can just do our long division, but quite frankly, I don't want to. So who has the answer? If we did the long division, one other way is that we can just continually add 5,280 until we go over. But we get three and one fourth. Remember, I always make them work out pretty nicely. We get three and one fourth. Okay, next sign. We have six divided by two thirds. What do we need to do when we're doing a division problem? What do we need to do? Let's see, I wanna call on somebody new. Elsie. Right, you keep the first number the same. You turn division into multiplication and then you reciprocal um, the Exactly, we find the reciprocal. Keep change flip. So, 6 is 6 over 1. Change becomes multiply, and the reciprocal is the flip, the reciprocal. 3 over 2. What is 6 times 3? What is, oh, actually, we could cross cancel if we wanted. Let's cross cancel. We get 1 and we get 3. What's 3 times 3? 9. 9 over 1 is just 9. As such, here, 8 times what? equals one. First of all, eight over what equals one? Madison. Eight over one does not equal one. Eight over what equals one, Jaden? Eight over eight, which means that if we multiplied eight by one eighth, we would get one. That's the reciprocal. 
The reciprocal of a number is when you multiply it by the first number and get one. When you multiply it by the first number and get one. So, Gore owns four acres of land that he wants to split into two third acre lots. How many lots will Gore have? Who can set up this problem for me? Who can set it up, Elsie? Four divided by two thirds. Four divided by two thirds. Exactly. We do our Kentucky chicken fried, our keep change flip. We get four over one times three over two. We can cross cancel. What do I get as my answer? Six. As such, do this one in your books. Okay, Brendan, what do we do for this problem? So, what do we do, Sophie, as your lifeline? Perfect. So, we do our keep, change, flip, our Kentucky chicken fried. So, which fraction do we keep? What fraction do we keep, Sophie, or Stephanie? The first one. First one, one fifth. What do we change, Olivia? Division to multiplication. And which one do we flip, M? Excellent. Now, can I cross cancel it all? No, because I can't do that. So we multiply, and what do we get as our answer? We multiply across Angel. Yes, 7 over 25. Perfect. We get 7 over 25. Let's look at the second one. I want to call on Caesar. What do we do here, Caesar? Um, keep, change flip. keep change flip. Same thing. So it becomes two fifths times four thirds. Can I cross cancel anything? No. no. So I multiply across. What do I get, Angelo? Uh, so the eight and Perfect. Eight over 15. Can I simplify? No. Nope, that's it. I get 8 over 15. Now it gets a little trickier. Emmett, what do I have to do here? What Exactly. What am I doing? What is that called? It's not keep, change, flip. What am I doing in this situation, Ani? Exactly. Making it into an improper fraction. So Emmett's correct. We multiply the 6 times the 2, the denominator, and add it to our numerator. So... What is the improper fraction version of the mixed number six and a half, Izzy? The improper version is called... So, what's the improper fraction version? Let's see. I want to call in Olivia. 13 over 2. Excellent. Then we do the change to multiplication. Now, we still need to make it into an improper fraction. Let's see, Sophia, what is this next one is an improper fraction? Exactly. So when we do our flip, it's 4 over 13. So Sophia was correct. She already did the flip as well. Can I, what can I do now? Can I do something now? Let's see, Shiley. Perfect. Cross cancel 13, 13. It becomes 1 and 1. What else can I do, Leanne? 4 and 2. It becomes 1 and 2. What do I get as my lovely answer here? Let's see a new hand. I want to see a new hand. Let's see. Amari. Perfect. I get two over one, which is just two. Excellent. Last problem. Same sort of thing. We have to turn it into a improper fraction. So, Yurene, what does four and two thirds become as an improper fraction? Perfect. 14 over 3. I do my change. First of all, what is 2 and 2 ninths as an improper fraction? What is 2 and 2 ninths as an improper fraction, Chris? It is not 20. Or it is 20 ninths. It is 20 ninths. But that's it originally. So now what do I have to do, Ani? Flip it. Exactly. Can I cross cancel anything, Emmett? Yes. What can I cross cancel? Well, three and the nine. Three and the nine. It becomes a three and a one. Can I cross cancel anything else? What else can I cross cancel then, Kyle? Emmett, what else? 1420. 
What does it become when I cancel it, Izzy? 7 and 10. 7 and 10. Excellent. So what do I get as my answer here? Who can tell me what my answer is, Dominic? Perfect, Dominic. We get 21 over 10. Is that my answer? No. What do I have to do, Leanne? Simplify. What do I get when I simplify Jaden? Perfect. It's 2 and 1 tenth. Excellent. He saw that 10 goes into 20 two times without going over, and we're left with 1 tenth. Excellent. So... How many three eighth pound bags of trail mix can Sophia make from a six and three eighth pound container of trail mix? So what is the operation that we're doing here? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. What's the operation that we're doing here? What do we think, Stephanie? So we're gonna be doing division. We know because we are splitting our trail mix into other bags. So we are dividing. What are we dividing by what? Tell me, what are we dividing by what, Kyle? That's a good guess, but that is incorrect, yes. Perfect, six and three eighths divided into three eighths because we wanna turn our whole, the bag that we have, into the different parts. So, first we have to do our keep change flip. Let's make it into a mixed number. We already know it's going to be times 8 over 3, and it's going to be something over 8. What's 6 times 8? 6 times 8. Let's see, Yurene. 48 plus 3, Olivia? 51. Let's see. Can I cross-cancel anything? This should be pretty easy. What can I cross-cancel, Marcus? The 8 and the 8. Boom, boom, they go away. Can I cross cancel anything else? Justin says he thinks so. He's correct. What can we cross cancel? Yes, so it becomes 17 and 1. So then what would our answer be? What's our answer? Ani? 17. That's it. Super easy. What you're going to do is on the uh, on the test, it said circle the mistake, use words to explain the mistake, and fix the mistake and solve. All I want you to do is fix the mistake, or just solve the initial problem, okay? So, in this case, this part, the first part, is always correct. That's never the mistake. So, I want you to start with that first part and solve. Okay, let's see, Victoria, what do I do? We multiply. How do we multiply it? Um, we multiply it two times one. Perfect. Two times one, we get two. And then what else do we multiply? Uh, three and four. So we get 12. Is that our answer? No. I have to simplify it. Jaden, what do I get when I simplify? Six. Uh, uh, one six. One sixth. Exactly. Who can tell me what the mistake I made here was, Izzy? So, what is the mistake then, Caesar? You tried to keep change flip. I did. I did an accidental flip here. I didn't need to do the reciprocal. That's not what I needed to do. Okay, next problem. We have three-fourths divided by two-thirds. So, I want you guys to solve that correctly. Okay, Brendan, what do I have to do here? So, I have to keep change flip. So, it becomes... I keep doing that. It becomes three fourths. The change is times, and then it's three over two. Can I cross cancel anything? No. no. So we just multiply across. It becomes nine over eight. Nine over eight simplifies to what, Emmett? One and one eighth. Excellent. What was the mistake I made in this problem, Ani? What's the main mistake, Izzy? Uh, you forgot to flip. I did forget to flip. And you forgot to change. What's, what else did I do, Olivia? Exactly. I cross-canceled. I can't cross-cancel unless it's multiplication. Otherwise, this was a cross-canceling. 
That was the mistake that I made initially. Exactly. Last problem. So I want you guys to solve this one and keep in mind the mistake that I made in the problem. So let's go step by step. Marcus, what's the first step I have to do? Make it into an improper fraction. Exactly. So what is six and three fifths as an improper fraction, Brie? It's 33 fifths. Exactly. I'm dividing it. What is two and three fourths as an improper fraction, Caesar? Um, 11 it's what? Uh, 11, 11, 11, 11 over four. Exactly. But now I have to do my keep change flip. So it becomes 33 over five times four over 11. Can I cross cancel anything? Can I cross cancel anything? What can I cross cancel, Shiley? Perfect. It becomes one and three. What do I get as my final answer right now, Sean? 12 fifths. What is 12 fifths simplified to, Sophia? Two and two fifths. That's our answer. What is the problem that I made? What was the mistake that I made, Chris? Exactly. I flipped the wrong fraction. I did flip, change, keep. That's not how it is. It's keep, change, flip. That's why I got it wrong. Excellent job. Thank you.